Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Welcome back to Abundant Gains here on my channel. I talk all things budgeting and I'm simply taking you through my financial journey. And I am a 23 year old cash envelope zero based budgeter. And if you enjoy watching cash envelope stuffings, budget with me's and sinking fund updates, then please do consider subscribing and stick around. So today I'm going to be doing a budget with me video for my first check of March. And I did go ahead and pre-fill out my budget planner and I have noted in here my bills and how much I was paid and then how much I have total currently so that I can go ahead and work these numbers. I got paid $1,947.89 my balance now is 2273 with 42 cents and that is because i already had a few of my bills counted for in my previous check so i do have that extra balance in there plus like buffer money balance i haven't been able to get a calculator yet <laughs> so i'm gonna keep using my laptop's tiny little calculator here on the side and because this is the grand total with my bills and with some of my bills already included i'm just going to go ahead and take away all of my bills money from this total and then whatever we get left with is what we're going to try and work with so i'm going to add up my bills first so 67 plus 10 plus 70 and 5 208 and 10 and that is a total of 370 for my bills here are the due dates for all of my bills from the 1st to the 15th so here i have bills coming out from the 1st to the 13th 2273 and i guess i'll add in those 42 cents minus 370 and i'm left with 1903.42 and i'll just go ahead and 370 i have 1903.42 and I also do need to, I guess I'll take out $30 for buffer money. And that leaves us with $18.73. $30. And that's $18.73.42. And I am going to take out an extra $100 for uh from this check to go towards buying uh a few things that i need for my trip like clothes and stuff and like accessories so i'm gonna go to a music festival um it's edc i don't know if any of you guys are familiar with it um and of course i have it noted here but you can probably can't even tell because my handwriting sucks <laughs> for that trip it's a music festival out in las vegas and it's like a four or five day trip that I'm going to take and I'm going to need lots of like fun clothes. So like uh, pretty much like rave outfits and all of that good stuff. And that stuff is expensive. So I'm going to take out a hundred from this check and then I'm going to take out a hundred from the next. I don't think I'm going to use the whole $200 for it, but just in case. So I'll just take out 100 and we're left with we're left with 1773 and 42. Typically, this check I would still be stuffing a lower amount because I used to have to pay towards this like student like loan stuff, which was $240 every check um every month on the first. And I'm I'm just not used to being able to stuff this much for 
my first check and that's because I just finished paying that off on my last check so I no longer have to subtract $240 which would take out a big chunk of my um of my check out so this is gonna take some getting used to but I'm very happy <laughs> and I don't have to long no longer pay for that bs because like I said in my last budget with me I shouldn't I shouldn't even have had to pay that in the first place and that's what we're going to be doing so i'm going to go ahead and turn this over and right here i'm going to write 1770 this is for march 5th today is the first but this will be for the march 5th check and of course i'm going to need to keep this calculator up here so we're gonna go ahead and begin with the category which my mini envelopes are first So those are my first few categories we're gonna start with and the budget is going to be $40, groceries $120, spending we're gonna say $30, and toiletries we're gonna say $25. And we're gonna go ahead and add up what that total will be. So $40 plus $120 plus $30 and $25. So that's $215. So up at the top, we're gonna write $215 for the budget. Well, up next is gonna be my cash binder. I also need to note down my savings challenge and i'm gonna put that up here savings challenge and that is going to be 80 and 60 and i'm gonna highlight that with a different color pen in a bit well let's get into these amounts beauty I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the 40. Black Friday, I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking 10. My car, we don't know yet. That'll be one of the last ones I budget for. Car maintenance is 80. Clothing, we'll stick with 40, same as beauty. And family time, I think I'm gonna do 30. Fun. I'm thinking $20, fair babes always get 75, gifts will do 10, and tattoos will do 25. So let's add up and see how much that is so far. So 40 plus 10 plus 80 and 40, 30, 20, 75 10 and 25 so far that's $330 and I'm gonna keep it that way um, until I budget for my car and I won't do that yet until after my sinking funds and everything else is done I do have a green marker or green pen that I'm gonna use to decorate I guess and highlight certain things. Um, and then of course here is my savings challenge. So I'll make a box here to separate that from everything else. And I can't find the top to this, so it's definitely trying out, which sucks. But yeah, that looks, <laughs> that looks pretty rough. Oh my goodness. And of course my Cat is getting into boxes. Last, of course, is gonna be my sinking funds. So, I'm 
That looks rough, but it's okay. And we're gonna start with my big girl binder, so emergency, medical, savings, and taxes. And then for the rest, it's gonna be Christmas, um, future home, mystery, and vacation. All right, whew, that hurt my hand. <laughs> Let's see what we're gonna do here. Before emergency, Typically it gets 85. Medical is gonna stay as 50. Uh, taxes is gonna stay as 20. I'm gonna skip over savings because I might put a little extra in there depending on how much is left. Christmas sticking with 25. And everything else is gonna be, I think a little bit more than normal. Well, mystery, I think I'm just gonna stick with 50. Savings, I typically put 140, but I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna do 170 like I did not too long ago. And the reason being is that when I do find an apartment to stay in or a house, like wherever I end up at, um, even if I end up back with my parents and stuff, I think just having a little bit extra in my savings for right now will be beneficial just in case I get a job that isn't going to pay as much as what I'm earning now. Uh, so just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna add in a little extra for this check. And I'm gonna go ahead and add up this 80 and 60. This is 140 because I don't wanna have to keep subtracting that separate. For my car, I think I'm gonna do $50. I know last time I think I did 100, but I think 50 is good. $380 for my cash binder. Okay. And just kind of underline that right there. Okay, so let's subtract everything now. Minus 215, minus 140 and 380 okay so we're left with 1035 and I'm gonna take away this $85 so that means that I'm stuffing 1035 into my sinking funds and I'll write that um, here off to the side somewhere thousand 35 okay and so let's do that again 1035 minus 85 dollars minus 50 and 170 20 25 and 50 so I have $635 left and uh, let's see how much I'd have left if I put 250 and vacation 385 I'm not gonna even stress it I, I know it's gonna be a big chunk going in there but for good reason so I think I'm gonna go with uh, 250 in vacation because I stuffed a lot in it last time and um, I think it's gonna be good with just 250 for now because I still have other checks to go before I even go on my trip. So what's going into future home is $385. And that is the rest of what is left over all together. And pretty comfortable with that. Let's put this off to the side. 
I cannot wait to get a calculator, <laughs> an actual hands-on calculator because this takes up so much room. So this is what my breakdown is. I'm gonna go ahead and before I leave, just go ahead and mention my giveaway that I do currently have open to celebrate my one year completion of cash stuffing and budgeting. So that is still going on currently and it will be closed on March 4th. So definitely go ahead and get in on that if you're interested. Uh, this is just to give back to everyone for following me along on this year-long journey and to many more because I truly do enjoy doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys the prizes once again. And I will have linked down below the video to where you are going to enter. Do not try and enter under this video because it won't be counted. You have to go back to my last upload and on there I have the giveaway rules and details and that is where you will enter from and I'll link that video in my description box. But for now, let's go ahead and get on with the prizes again. So for this prize, uh, like I mentioned before, I would like to preferably give this to a winner that is not already in the budgeting community or maybe just started and doesn't have a lot of envelopes per se because I, I do know that a lot of uh, people in the community in the budgeting community are entering and that's perfectly fine uh, but I would rather just give this to someone that needs it the most and it's going to come with this candle which says trust the universe and the smell is wild sage and aloe it smells really sweet and it's a really pretty smell and it's just a really pretty candle in general very minimalistic uh very simple and the envelopes are spending a vacation envelope a christmas envelope an emergency fund envelope and a savings envelope i am gonna have three winners so i'm sure one out of those three will be someone that does need them let's get on to the next prize and this prize is some scented pens i really really love these you have strawberry watermelon banana lime and i'm i wish i could keep this for myself because i would literally i would have literally died for one of these when i was a kid <laughs> And of course, you guys know I love anything that is holographic, so I really felt like this call to me. And it's going to come with these stickers, which are some really beautiful plant stickers, and it's got four sheets of them. This top one has like an iridescent um, vibe to them. I don't know if you can tell. And then in the back, we have some more bland ones. So, you know, these are really, really pretty. I love stickers, so I really would love to give some out. And then for the other prize, I have this really beautiful Create Your Own Calm uh, journal for anxiety. And it's pretty much a journal prompt where it will be asking you a lot of self-reflection questions in regards to your mental health and to anxiety and I really would love to give this out as well because I'm all for wellness and for keeping your headspace clear and calm and it's going to come with these really beautiful plant push pins and I think these are super cute and that is all for my prizes i do have one more sticker actually that i did buy i have no clue where it went i literally just found it like two days ago and i lost it again so i'm not able to show you guys what those stickers are but i'm not sure if i'll put them in with this prize or with this prize I'm still trying to figure it out but i'm feeling like it's going to lean more towards this prize but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this budget with me video and I will see you guys in my next upload. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Until then, see ya.